Now I know a lot of you Bach Chevy enthusiasts that are subscribed to my channel who probably don't really uh, much care for the Cutlass Sierra uh, Chevy celebrity vehicles. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably wondering why in the hell are you bothering your time stripping a car like this and painting it? Well, it is a classic GM car, or at least it's going to be in a few years. And uh, not only that, in my opinion, it was a good car. I never had a problem with it. Uh, so, ever since the demise of my Chef, my box Chevy, I'm going to uh, paint this one. Seeing as how I have it sitting in my garage. So I started stripping it. Uh, I got the back end, the tail lights out, and I've been kind of working on the deck lid, uh, the trunk lid. There is a luggage carrier rack on the car, on the trunk lid itself, and I've, uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to tear it off there. There's uh, like a little rubber grommet that you got to pull off, and then there's like a bolt in behind there, and then there's also fasteners underneath the trunk lid itself, so I'm kind of just poking away at it. This car won't be painted for a while. But like I say, the preparation and the stripping process usually takes forever. If you don't believe me, I've probably rambled on for about two or three minutes now and I've been hunting and pecking away at the stupid side marker light. And now, I finally got it. And I lost the screw. There's a screw on the bottom. There you go, so that'll be another minute and a half wasted. Actually, oddly enough, the other side has a Phillips screw on it too. Weird. Okay, so I'll take you around to the back of the vehicle quickly. Ah, uh, so, the tail lights are out of it. I'm working on the bumper. Uh, I'll probably get that off possibly tonight and uh, this vehicle isn't going to be sanded or anything just yet like there's a lot of prep work to do with this vehicle okay like the uh, luggage carrier rack is another situation at hand um, the chrome trim you know stuff like that like it's it's it takes time so you know we got uh, we got our our intricate pieces uh, tail lights you know this here you know isn't going to be seen of course my edges um, I'll probably more than likely what I'll do is I'll sand right around to this this curve here and I'll paint this because you got you always got to paint your edges so but everything in behind here is going to stay intact I'm not going to waste time and paint and materials time and materials to uh, paint that because that will never be seen and not only that um, this hasn't been sun faded because this has never been seen in the sunlight so when I paint the car, it'll probably, you clean this up, clean the dust off of it, the, it'll match anyway. So it doesn't really much matter. But I am going to sand roughly about three inches here and, uh, and spray it with my base coat, clear coat. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty well that for uh, what's been going on with it. Uh, not a heck of a lot. It's kind of been just a hit and miss kind of a situation here. You know, just started at it. So, you know. Lots of work to do, chrome trim, like uh, the Chev had chrome trim as well, um, but I got rocker panel chrome trim on the bottom too, so there's more um, more things that got to get attended to, so you know, this has got to be removed. Uh, badges, I haven't done those either, hood ornament, uh, this car has an actual, like a chrome pinstripe thing, and there's about three fasteners underneath the hood that have this held on here, so I have to remove that. Headlights, uh, front bumper fascia has got to come off. Um, because we are dealing with a, a, a molded bumper, uh, I have to paint it as well. So I have to remove the bumper. Uh, there's a special kind of, uh, it's not paint, but there's something that you uh, uh, spray on the vehicle first uh, and then you hit it with your paint. Uh, it's specially made just for plastics so that, um, you know, it, you don't get cracks, like little crack lines in your paint, if you know what I'm talking about. Kind of hard for me to explain that. Uh, a lot of you body guys would know what I'm talking about. Um, so, all in all, you know, it, it's starting to come along. Uh, you know, handles have got to come off yet and too and whatnot. The bonus here is that I don't have to paint this. This is going to stay the same. All the Cutlass Sierras came with black door um, framework here. And, and even the, uh, the roof pillar. 
uh, came like that too so that's that's gonna save a bit of time and sanding and time and material with that so anyway hope you guys enjoyed uh, we'll catch you back here. I know a lot of you guys actually do like to see these these kind of videos. Uh, it seems like when I painted my Chevy before I totaled it, it seemed like a lot of you guys actually did like it. So I'm going to continue to do it. Uh, and if you guys uh, enjoy watching them, we'll go ahead and watch them. If you guys leave me some negative feedback too. I know a lot of you guys don't seem to particularly like these vehicles. And I know a lot of my current subscribers don't like them. So hey. Negative feedback is also appreciated. I want to know what you guys think. Do you want to, do you want to be bothered seeing updates on your YouTube page saying that this channel just made another video about this car? I want to hear your input on it because if you don't like it, I won't bother making it. So, let me know in the comments down below. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch you back here next week.